What is up everybody? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at what has happened in the real estate market for the month of March, 2024. Many people have been talking about the market going to continue to crash or continue to correct and it's not. It's actually still going on an incline. We're gonna be taking a look at how the early spring market is reacting uh, to these newer house prices. Uh, I've been saying it all along that homes are actually selling, especially that, you know, sub 1.2, $1.3 million mark. And now we're actually starting to see that bleed into um, the higher price points. What has happened in the GTA, the 416, Peel region, Durham region. Uh, I'll create some subsequent videos for Hamilton and Barrie, Ontario also. So stay tuned but let's just quickly get into what has happened in the GTA and see whether or not prices have continued to uptick compared to last month's numbers. If you missed last month's numbers, the video is just over here. Uh, I highly encourage you to click that so you can actually see what has happened month over month. I tend to look at month over month. You will be able to still see in my snapshots what's happening year over year. Uh, if you're in the market to actually sell or buy, I think it's very important for you to be looking at what has happened month over month. Uh, there is no real reason to necessarily see what has happened last year as those numbers have come and they've gone. So it's not necessarily the market that you're in. The idea really is that if you're doing it for a long-term play, I don't think you have to be worried about anything and buying real estate at any time is still going to work out in your favor. If you do have any questions regarding a particular market, maybe a neighborhood that you want to get an idea as to what is happening with prices in your particular neighborhood, feel free to give me a call. The con my contact information is in the bio below. I do highly encourage you to book a call via my Calendly link where we can go over all things real estate and hopefully give you a direction and a plan as to how to get you into your new home or perhaps selling your existing one prior to you purchasing another one. This is not necessarily the market to buy first and then sell your home. I would still encourage you to sell your home and then make the transition into purchasing. Lots of people dealing with bridge mortgages, uh, dealing with private mortgages because they need to be able to close on their home because they couldn't sell uh, their existing home. So let's try to avoid that. Again, we're trying to provide the numbers so that it arms you as a better real estate investor. Let's get into those numbers. So the numbers are out for the GTA and let's see exactly what is happening. And let's see exactly what way the market is trending. And as you can see in our chart here, you can see how that market is trending now. It's pretty much picked up. Uh, especially from the end of the year, and it's still going upwards. We're getting back to those May trends that we had seen uh, in 2023, uh, which is quite nice to see. Obviously, way back here, you can see that high, the peaks of February of 2022, uh, and we're hoping that in the future sometime, we will eclipse this mark, uh, and every homeowner is sitting on an abundance of equity. If you look at where our median prices are, it's pretty much $990,000 for the month of March. This is all properties in the GTA. And last month we were at 977,000. So the market has actually increased a further $12,000 or 1.2%. That's, that's a pretty good increase uh, just from last month alone. Take a look here at the detached market segment. And in the detached market segment, we were actually at 1.352. Last month, we were at 1.330. A $22,000 price increase just in detached homes throughout all of the GTA. Let's get into the semis. Semi-detached, now we're at a million fifty-eight. What was happening last month, we were at a million fifty-three. A very small increase of $5,000, so pretty flat there, uh, but still an increase nonetheless. Townhomes in the GTA in month of March, $975,000 as your median price. Last month, last month we were actually at $988,000. So we've actually got a decline in the freehold towns throughout the GTA. That's a decrease of $13,000 or 1.3%. So here we're looking at condo towns. Uh, median price now is sitting at $783,000. 
last month 762,000. That's an increase of 21,000 or 2.8%. And GTA condos, now we are at 640,000. Last month, 633,000, an increase of $7,000, 1.1%. The market has actually been moving quite positively uh, and buyers are gaining confidence uh, in this particular market. So sellers, if you are in the market to try and sell, this is still a fairly good opportunity uh, we don't know what's going to happen if you sit there until summer thinking that it's going to be a better market. If you are getting that sticker shock from your new mortgage rates, um, it might be an, a great opportunity to be able to at least uh, try and see exactly uh, what you can get in this particular market. Now, I know some people are stuck at certain dollar values when it comes to what is actually owed. Could be even underwater when it comes to the appraised value that came in, say, last year versus this year, if you're especially with a private or a B lender. Um, but there are some solutions. Uh, definitely reach out if you do need some assistance with that. Let's see exactly how those numbers have now parlayed into the Toronto 416 proper only. If we look at Toronto amongst all property types, we're actually sitting at $925,000. And last month, we were actually sitting at $857,000. That's a difference of $68,000 uh, just from last month. So some massive increases uh, within the Toronto market. We did obviously see some steeper declines there. So it's nice to see um, 416 proper moving in the right direction. Now let's see exactly how it parlayed amongst the property types as that's what we do. We examine each property type. Detached market now sitting at 1.610 and last month we were actually at 1.713 So we can actually see there was a decrease of almost a hundred thousand dollars in the detached market segment So where did the increase actually occur? We've got condo market now at seven hundred and two thousand dollars last month six hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars that's an increase of thirteen thousand five hundred dollars again if you do have any questions about perhaps finding out what the value of a home is in your particular neighborhood definitely give me a call and i would be happy to at least give you a rough estimation of what the value of your home is don't get ripped off you've got a lot of agents that do come out there and I'm not trying to slag every agent. There are a lot of wonderful agents out there, but there are some agents that can totally misguide you and pretty much you lose tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on your price point. Again, these videos are for your knowledge, for you to arm yourself. My goal is to just give you enough knowledge so that it's arming you for your real estate journey. Stay savvy, stay informed, stay knowledgeable, and may all your real estate investment dreams come true. We'll catch you on the next one.